Hello viewers, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'll show you the design process of this model using only the part design of bench in FreeCAD. This will be another practical exercise, so I hope you you like this video. If you can support the channel, please do so. Just go to the description of this video and you'll find a link to my Ko-Fi page. Okay, so now let's get started. Let's go to FreeCAD and here in the start page, create a new document and switch to the part design workbench and now let's go to this drink page first here to draw this model what we'll do we'll, we'll add material to this document so first here let's go to these active tools and then click on this icon and select active cylinder okay and now press home in your keyboard and first here we'll set the attachment of this cylinder Select X plane. Okay, and now let's set the register and date of the cylinder. Let's go to this drink page. And the date of the cylinder here will set 15. This is the mission here. And the register of the cylinder will set 20.3 millimeters. So first here we'll change the register to 20.3 and now here we'll set the date of 15 and now click OK. And as you can see now we have the cylinder here and the next step here is to create this hole here as you can see let's go to free cut and what you need to do here is to select this face and now select this hole tool and here change the diameter of this hole to 35 millimeters and therefore this hole here will set 5 millimeters so change here to 5 and now scroll down here and check this option flat and click OK and as you can see now we have this hole here and next here what we'll do is to create this hole with the same diameter but we'll change the depth to 3 so what we do first we select this face and now click on this hole 2 and we change the diameter here to 35 and here to 3 and now scroll down and check this option and click OK as you can see now we have these two holes here so next here what we'll do we'll create this part here to create this part we'll use a div cylinder again so click on this icon and now let's set the attachment of the cylinder select this face here we have 8 of 10 for the cylinder and and we have a diameter of 20 so the red here will be 10 and the 8 10 so click OK and as you can see now we have this part here and now what we'll do is to create this this small hole here as you can see the diameter of this hole is 15 and Depth of this hole here is 1.2 as you can see here. So what you do first here, first here we select this face and now select hole 2. We change the diameter to 15 and the depth here to 1.2. And now scroll down and set flat here and click OK. Okay, now we have this. And now let's try to create this, this hole here. Okay, with a resolve 5. So first here, select this face and now click on this hole tool. Change the diameter here to 10. Okay, and the depth of this hole here we can set 25, no problem. Click OK now. And as you can see now we have this and now what we'll do next is to create these fillets operations and this chamfer operation here. So first let's try to create this fillet operation here with a size of 2 millimeters. So what we do first here we select this edge and then this fillet icon and we change the radius here to 2 millimeters and now click OK. OK and here as you can see we have a fillet here. So rotate this model and select this edge here and select fillet tool. The range of this fillet is 1 as you can see so here click OK 
okay and now we'll create this chamfer operation here in these edges okay so what we do first we select this edge here and now control and select this edge and now select chamfer tool and the size of this chamfer as you can see is one so he will set one and click OK. Okay, now it's all. Next, what we'll do is to create these pockets here. So now what you do, we go to pre-cut and here we select this face and you create a new sketch in this face. Okay, and now what we'll do here is to draw a sketch for this pocket here. So in this icon so here what you need to do is to select this polline tool and then draw this sketch okay and here what you'll do next will set these two lines equal select these two lines and set equal okay and next select this angle constraint tool and now these two lines here and the angle of these two lines here will set 45 degrees okay and now what we'll do next is to set the distance between this point here to this origin point so select first call distance tool and now these two points here and the distance here will set the alpha of 12 so you will set 6 and okay and now as you can see we have one degree of freedom so we can we can set a height of this sketch here we can set three millimeters no problem and now click ok so leave this sketch and select pocket tool to create the pocket and here as you can see here we need to to increase the, the length of this pocket here so we go here in the tab and we change here to true goal and now as you can see we have this so click OK. OK, and the next thing to do here is to create a polar array of these pockets. OK, in this hole. So how we can do that? First go to the model tip and select this pocket here, this pocket operation. And now just select this polar pattern tool. And here we'll change the number of occurrence to 30. okay and now just click ok and as you can see now we have these pockets here in this hole and the next step is to create these parts here to create these parts first we'll create a new sketch in this face here select this face and create a new sketch and here now we'll draw a sketch for these parts here so first what we'll do is to select this art tool so out and click on this origin point and draw this arc. Okay, and now select the line tool. Drag this point here in this way and this point here in this way. And next select this fillet tool and create fillet here and here in these two lines okay and next here what we'll do we'll set horizontal constraints here for these points so first select this point here and this point and set horizontal constraint and now these two points here and set horizontal constraint okay okay and now select select this constraint cycle tool click in this arc here and here we'll set a radius of 20.3 okay and next here let's select this equal constraint and uh, let's make these two arcs here equal and these two arcs equal and now these two lines here equal okay and next here let's draw construction arcs in these fillets here Okay, so chain to construction geometries and now select arc tool. Click in this origin point and draw this arc here in these two points. 
and now in these two points here okay and now select constraint cycle tool and click in this arc here for this arc here we'll set a radius of 22.55 Okay, and for this arc here, we'll set a resolve of 24.1. Okay, and now we have this. So next here, we can set the resolve of this arc here. Click in this arc, and you will set the resolve of 27. Okay, and now we have four degrees of freedom here. So now let's hide these constraints here and let's try to full constrain this sketch here let's set this distance here so what you'll do is to select this horizontal distance tool and now this point and this point here and you set six okay and next here we'll we'll create this dimension here 4.66 so what you need to do is to select this point here and this point select this point and this point here and let's add 4.66 okay and now we have two degrees of freedom select angle constraint and now these two lines here and here we'll set angle of 15 degrees okay and now we have one degree of freedom so select this tool here constraint cycle click in this arc here and you'll set a resolve 50 okay and now close this press home and as you can see now we have this free sketch here for this part and as you can see here we have this angle we'll make a copy of this sketch here and then we'll change the placement of this sketch so what to do now select the sketch here and click in this copy icon and here select only this sketch and enter okay and now click in this pass icon and as you can see now we have this sketch in this document so drag this sketch into this body here and select this sketch and go to the properties of the sketch here and attachment and now let's go to position and here we'll change the value of the z duration we'll change here to 15 so here will set minus 15 okay and now we'll change the rotation the angle of the sketch so let's go to angle and here we'll set 10 degrees let's set 10 here as you can see okay we change the angle of this sketch but here we need to reverse this angle here so he will set minus 10 degrees okay and now as you can see we have this and now to create the part what you need to do is use this loft tool here active loft tool here so first here we need to select this free sketch and now clicking this loft tool and add session and select this second sketch here and click ok and now as you can see we have this first part here and the next thing to do is to create these all parts here so you will create a polar pattern here polar button operation with this occurrence here 16 occurrence so first here select this operation at the loft and now select polar button tool and change the occurrence to 16 and as you can see now we have these all parts here so click ok and yes this is the final part for this model as you can see we finished the design of this model thank you for watching this video and if you find this video useful please leave a like a comment and share this video with your friends and also if you can donate to support the channel please just go to the description of this video and you'll find a link to my ko page okay